so back in uh, 2004 was when I first went to the Philadelphia Flower Show. And that's when I saw my very first Garden Railroad, a display that was set up by Bachman. And I had told my wife that one of these days I'm going to have me one of them railroads. I've been working on the Pleasant Valley Railroad. This will be the sixth year. I really didn't get hooked on trains until I was almost in college. And because during my high school years, I was too busy being a teenager. And then it was during my, my college time when I, a friend of mine actually had a train set. And it was dur during that time that I just wanted a, a train set. And ever since then, I have just really, really fallen in love with model trains. My first gauge train was HO. I had a 4x8 sheet and during that time I had a couple of small boys and I don't know if I was actually building it for me or if I was building it for them. And I had a, a small N gauge a after that and uh, then it developed to G scale. Basically, I just started out with, uh, w with an area about a uh, oh, 30 foot square. Started out with kind of a, an oval shaped. Uh, I bought a train, a uh, locomotive with uh, three cars. And then from there, I bought a couple of engines on eBay, uh, Amtrak engines. And then as the years progressed, I just, on, on eBay, I would just find other, other cars, other locomotives that, that I liked. I chose to go with the, with the modern diesel locomotive primarily because I was not raised during the era of the steam locomotive. Uh, I have always been impressed with the, with, with the power and the sound of the modern diesels. If, if I was starting out from, from square one, never having done any uh, garden railroading or model railroading, uh, I would recommend that somebody were to buy a complete set, which would include the track, the transformers, the locomotive, and a few cars. Uh, once you kind of get the feel of, of what you want, then start adding to it. That, that would be my recommendation because I kind of, I fell in with both feet and it, at, at, at a time I almost thought that, I, that it was too much for me to chew at, at all, all at once. But then when I started doing it, then my, my two boys got involved in it and then that, that's how the Pleasant Valley Scenic Railroad evolved. We have over a, a hundred cars uh, right now with uh, ranging from hundred ton coal hoppers, uh, flat cars, we have a couple of tank cars, we have uh, several box cars, uh, we have eight diesel locomotives, uh, we also have a Thomas the tank with uh, Clara and Annabelle. Right now we have 15 different bridges and they all range from uh, wooden truss bridge which is 30, 32 feet long. We also have a through truss which is six, seven, eight feet long. Uh, we have a uh, 20 foot diameter uh, girder bridge which is uh, to scale would be 132 feet above the ground. We have a another girder bridge that is 36 feet long. We have almost 1300 feet of track. Uh, we have four separate loops. Uh, a lot of people, it's kind of funny, 
because a lot of people when they say, oh, I'd love to, you know, bring my kids, I'd love to bring my grandkids, really, they just want an excuse so they can come over <laughs> and play with the trains. <laughs> Anybody that comes to my railroad is automatically 12 years old. I don't care how old you are, it's just fun. I don't charge anybody to, to come and see it. Uh, most of this is done for my kids and my, my grandkids and anybody who would like to enjoy it. Uh, we would love to, to have anybody who, who loves trains and, and even somebody who, who might be interested some, someday, some year to, to maybe want to uh, build a railroad. Please come by, come, come and see it. I mean, it, it's great, it's great fun.